Hi, hello, and welcome. I'm Summer, and this week we're discussing problem solving, when your emotions aren't justified, but you still need to do something about them. This is the other fork from Check the Facts. I tend to overuse this skill, I find it better to try to fix something rather than feel uncomfortable emotions, and I'll explain why that's bad later on. Problem solving starts with describing the emotions you're feeling, then going into checking the facts. If your emotions are justified and fit the intensity, you can look at continuing with the following steps. Identify attainable goals, brainstorm ideas, choose your plan, put into action, and evaluate. But before any of that, if your emotions are not justified for the situation, you repeat starting at step one. Loop, loop as many times as you need to. Now, on to the other steps. Identify obtainable goals. You wanna keep it simple. What is the outcome you want? For example, someone might be annoying you and your ultimate goal is to stop being annoyed. It doesn't quite matter at this point how it's done, just ask yourself what the results you want are. Brainstorm ideas. This is throwing ideas at the wall to see what sticks. If you're able to, you can ask your friends, family, or whoever is close to you for advice. At this point, anything is fair game. Don't throw out ideas at this point if they seem cruel or unrealistic. Running with the previous example, ideas could range from punching the person in the face to sprinting away to screaming back at them. Choose your plan. At this point, you can start to trim the more unrealistic or ineffective plans. Ask if any of them further your goal, then choose the ones that are reasonable. If you're having trouble deciding, go with the ones that fit the best and do a pros and cons of them. Again, with the example, these could range from a short conversation with the person to walking away, and you just need to decide what in the moment you go with. Put your plan into action. This is the hardest step and, as it says, actually putting your plan into place. You can plan and plan all day, but if you don't do something about it, then your work has been less than worthless. This is actually doing the task of having that conversation or walking away. Lastly, evaluate. Look back at what you did and determine if it was effective and if you achieved your goals. If it worked, you did well and you can feel proud of yourself. If it didn't work well, rethink and restart at choosing your plan. Problem solving is a good skill to have in your arsenal, but if you overuse it like me, you end up treating everything as a problem to fix. Sometimes you just gotta feel your emotions rather than trying to do something about them. It's okay to feel things. It's okay to sit with something that's uncomfortable, even if you're meant to be happy. Emotions aren't problems to be fixed. Solutions are. And if you find yourself using problem solving too often, consider using other skills in its place. You don't expect to build a life worth living with only one tool in your tool belt. If you found this video informative, leave a like. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. As always, shine big, shine bright, and don't let your spark die out.